This is a project that I started back in June 2020. And for reference, that was peak COVID time. Initially, this was a full-scale, human-sized, 3D-printed arcade game designed by a buddy of mine named James from Print and Play. However, he did end up doing a 3D printable miniature version for this for us common folks. So I went to do an episode on this project and I bought all the electronics from AliExpress and as they arrived, one by one, I started putting them in a box, which is where they stayed for the past five years. The thing is, by the time that everything arrived, I started a new project, which I was really excited about, uh, which is also sitting in a box. This sound relatable to anyone? Now, while I did 3D print everything five years ago and also in another box, I decided to reprint everything by iconic 80s, 90s look. Mainly, well, because I, I remember the 80s and 90s. I remember them very, very, very well. Yes, that's, that's how old I am. So I used my Prusa XL to print the large parts and for the rest, I used my Core 1 with MMU3. Anyways, now that I have all this funky looking theme going on, we can go ahead and start assembly. You know when you have that intrusive thought going on in your head? And I decided to go into that rabbit hole and follow this intrusive thought. I basically thought to myself, what if the electronics don't work? What if I'm doing this for nothing? So I decided, let me connect everything, switch it on and see if it works. So the first issue I had was the fact that the wires here for the controller are not long enough, so I cannot move it in place. And therefore, I will need to extend those. Secondly, I had a problem with the screen. It wasn't lighting up, right? It would light up for a few seconds and then go off instantly. I tried different power supplies, they wouldn't work. Then I realized that every power supply I tried was 2.1 amps. I eventually found a 2.3 amp power supply for the Raspberry Pi, which, and it worked. However, when I tried to connect the LED strip that powers this marquee up here, uh, the screen would start flickering, meaning it was drawing too much juice. Aside from that, the amplifier was also giving me a bit of crackling and interference. So what I decided to do is modify it slightly. So the power to the Pi will only power the Pi and the screen now. For the rest, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this USB hub where the speaker amplifier and also the LED strip go into, and that will connect separately to a USB charger. That seems to have solved all my issues, but uh, yeah, uh, there's, uh, couple of speed bumps along the way, which now is time to fix and get this up and running.
So there we go, after a couple of days. Couple of days because there were some hiccups. Nothing major though, I, I, I think at this point, everything is working as it should. I really love that you can rotate the screen, but more than that, there's the satisfying locking mechanism when the rollers sort of go into position as soon as you rotate the screen. The sound system, ridiculously good. That's like probably like, 25, 30% of the way. But this is hands down, best project I've ever done. What I would like, and I have spoken to James about this, is that maybe in the near future, we can possibly have a version of this where you don't need a big 3D printer. Now in case any of you want to comment on the quality of the bottom of the console, there is a reason it doesn't look that good. Mainly because I was using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. However, I was printing with a 0.4 millimeter profile. So kudos to the noob. But it did print, it did service purpose. I'm not gonna waste any more filament. It's completely fine. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And as always, happy making everyone.